taxpayers of the United States, we pay a very large amount of money that is being used for food stamps and welfare programs. Each year, the United States spends approximately $452 billion on welfare. Also, every year, Americans spend $80 million on financing food stamps for the poor. All of this money comes from the taxpayers in America. Wisconsin's welfare rate alone is up 3.9% in the last few months. Drug testing should be a requirement for getting welfare or food stamps so that there would be a decrease of drug use, people would be healthier, and food stamps or welfare money would be going to people who really need it and don't use it to buy drugs. <coughs> the problem here is that too many people receiving welfare and or food stamps in the United States are abusing these services. According to the National Coalition of Homeless in 2006, approximately 50 to 60 percent of homeless people are abusing a type of substance, whether it be alcohol or drugs. Many of these people get hooked on the substance abuse after they become homeless. This is hard to believe because if you can't afford to live anywhere or put food on the table for your family or yourself, you should be able to start a new addiction, especially an expensive one. These people are also much more likely to develop mental disorders. These mental disorders could range from things from depression, bipolar disorder, or something else. They also are more likely to stay homeless due to the substance abuse and mental disorders. Along with this, they are twice as likely to get arrested. In the hospital I work at, many times we see homeless or alcoholics or drug addicts who come to the emergency room saying they don't feel well just to get a free meal. Sometimes they are even admitted due to their abuse and get multiple meals and a bed to sleep in. This is another example of homeless people abusing services that the rest of work in America ends up paying for. Many of these people are ripping off the government by selling their food stamp cards for drugs and then receiving new ones. Many people will seek out replacement food stamp cards more than three times a year because they are selling them for drugs. Up until now, we were unable to suspect that they were selling their cards for drugs. Now they can question people who lose their cards more than three times a year. Most of the time, these people are selling their cards on eBay or on Craigslist. The Department of Food, Nutrition, and Consumer Services has had post comments on these websites to remind people it's illegal to sell your food, stamps, food stamp cards to anyone. You can use these cards like a debit card, where the recipients can use these cards at over 200,000 stores across the United States. There's a certain amount of money that put on the cards for these people to use to buy groceries or feed themselves and their families. Once the money is gone, it is gone. The average amount of money spent for food stamps is $132 per person per month. This is plenty of money for one person to buy groceries for a month if they do it smartly. They do not require an ID to use this card, seeing as in many families, parents or children use the card to go to the store to buy groceries or whatnot. It's not limited to just one person. Once the card is reported lost or stolen, much like your debit card, it gets shut off immediately and no longer is usable. This is good because then, just like using your debit or credit card, people are unable to use it once it's shut off and people are not committing fraud. Last year alone, over 850,000 people were investigated for fraud when using their food stamps. This number is very high and shocking, seeing as these people should not be using government money for fraud so they can support their substance abuse. Along with this, 1,200 stores were removed from the food stamp program for illegal conduct. Most of this fraud is taking place in smaller convenience stores and shops, not larger stores like Walmart or supermarkets. Many states are starting programs which denies convicts or drug felons the ability to receive food stamps or welfare. These changes are meant to stop people from selling or trading their food stamps for drugs. Many states tried to use this idea but are being forced to stop. This is due to budget deficits and steep prison re oh, I don't know, rates. And the cause is the government not regulating or having higher standards for people who are receiving food stamps or welfare. Currently, only Florida requires all applicants of welfare to receive drug testing before receiving the money. Arizona and New Mexico require drug testing to anyone they suspect to be using drugs. Many states are considering making some small changes as well. As many as 10 states are thinking of requiring a photo ID to, re to receive food stamps. Ohio and Tennessee are considering taking away the opportunity to receive food stamps or welfare if you are a convicted drug felon. North Carolina and New Jersey are thinking of requiring all people receiving government help to do some type of community service. In Colorado, State Rep Representative Jerry Sonnenberg is trying to pass a bill that requires all applicants of the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program to pay for and pass a drug test. If they pass the drug test, they will be reimbursed. If not, they will have to clean up and pay for another one at a later time. These tests will cost the applicants anywhere from $8 to $12. People who are supporting this bill said this will help keep people healthy, avoid substance abuse, and eliminate fraud. All of these options would greatly improve the type of people receiving food stamps and welfare. And people would probably think twice about their actions if they knew what they would lose. These also would be the solution to the problem. 
In conclusion, this is obviously an increasing problem in the United States and the government needs to require drug testing to help bring down some of these numbers. The government needs to have better control of this type of fraud and make sure the food stamp money is being used for food and not other things. They also need to not let people continue to abuse the system once they get caught. There should be no second chance for fraud, especially when it's taxpayers' money that is being used in the wrong ways. These people aren't paying taxes, most likely, and we should not be working as hard as we do to support someone else's drug and alcohol abuse.